Hi teachers, it's Matthew from Griffin Education Enterprises and in this video I'm going to walk you through 10 essential Chrome extensions that every teacher should have. We spend up a lot of our time using internet browsers for our job, so it only makes sense that we use a wide variety of tools to help improve our workflow. I've been using these extensions for a while now and I think you will find them useful as well. Okay, let's get into the first extension. Number 1, Creative Commons. First on our list of Chrome extensions is Creative Commons. Creative Commons provides Creative Commons licenses and public domain tools that give every person and organization in the world a free and simple and standardized way to grant copyright permissions for creative and academic works, ensure proper attribution and allow others to copy, distribute and make use of these works. This extension allows you to look up these images quickly and download them with the correct attribution. All you need to do is to look up the Creative Commons code and then you can be certain about how that image should be attributed. You can also narrow down your search to pictures that can be used commercially or that can be adapted. For example, does the picture come from the Smithsonian Institute or does it come from Wikipedia Commons? This extension is perfect for teaching your students about digital literacy, being good digital citizens and how to correctly attribute the images that they use on the internet for their assignments and work. Number two, add block for YouTube. If you've ever felt nervous about showing your students a video on YouTube because of the potentially inappropriate ads and promotional content that might pop up, then you should seriously consider downloading Adblock for YouTube. Adblock for YouTube does exactly that. It blocks all of the ads that appear throughout the duration of the video. This includes the five second ads that pop up before the video, the small text boxes that appear at the bottom of the video while it's playing, and lastly, the five second ads that will interrupt the video as you progress through it. While Adblock for YouTube does a great job of blocking out the advertisements, just make sure you pause the video right before the end so that students are not accidentally exposed to recommended videos that might be inappropriate. Number three, small PDF. If you ever need to quickly convert between documents or you need to complete a conversion that isn't necessarily covered by Microsoft Word pages or Google, then small PDF is an incredibly handy extension to have. There are a wide range of conversions that you can complete with this Chrome extension. For example, you can convert between PDF to PowerPoint, PowerPoint to PDF, PDF to Excel. You can even delete PDF pages and split them apart. Make sure you check out their website for a full range of conversions that small PDF can complete. Number four, Fonts Ninja. If you've ever seen a font that you like and you'd like to know the name of it, then Fonts Ninja will not only tell you its name, but it will also show you its size, letter spacing and font color in a text box that hovers over the words that you have selected. Once you click on a font, you can then play around with these features that I've mentioned. You can type in something to see if it's a font that you like, and there's even a prompt to install the free version of the app if you're interested. With Font Ninja, you'll become an expert in typography in no time. Number five, Colorzilla. Just like Font Ninja, Colorzilla will help you to identify the color that has been used on text and pictures. Once you press on Colorzilla, you'll be presented with an eyedropper. All you need to do is click on the color that you like and it'll be copied over to the clipboard. What makes this app even more useful is that the color you've selected will be copied over to the clipboard in Microsoft Office, allowing you to quickly use it in whichever format you desire. Number six and seven, Tab Scissors and Tab Glue. Tab Scissors allows you to evenly split the tabs in your Chrome browser so that you can see two screens at the same time. While it's true that you can click on the tab and drag it over to the other side of the screen, I personally find that Tab Scissors is slightly faster. Tab Glue on the other hand does the opposite. If you ever find yourself with a million tabs open and you would like to merge all of these back into one browser window, then Tab Glue will do this for you instantly. Number 8, Full Page Screen Capture. Have you ever come across a web page or PDF that you would like to take a screenshot of, but one section of the window is just outside of your screen? You can always zoom out, but the problem with that is that you lose clarity with your screenshot. Go Full Page Screen Capture will do exactly that. It will screen capture the full web page that you want in one go in a high resolution PNG picture or PDF file. I've found this extension useful for taking screenshots of newspaper articles, receipts from purchases, and worksheets that I would like to add text overlays to. Number nine, web paint. Some educational websites will have a feature that allow you to highlight text, draw shapes, and write text onto the screen. Unfortunately, there are some that don't have this feature. This is where web paint comes in handy. With web paint, you can do all of these things on nearly every website that you visit. This Chrome extension is particularly useful for web pages that contain news articles and educational websites where you would like to add teacher notes or show students how to complete a question. Take for example, this is perfect for Soundwave spelling and any websites where you can download free worksheets. 
Number 10, Emoji Keyboard. While you can easily access the Emoji Keyboard on a mobile device or tablet, accessing this on a keyboard with Windows 10 is slightly more challenging. This is where Emoji Keyboard is useful. Once you click on the icon, you will be able to select the desired emojis that you'd like to use, and then you can quickly copy and paste them over to your writing. If this video has inspired you, then I challenge you to download all of these extensions now and to start playing with them. I guarantee that they will improve your workflow and will allow you more time to focus on what matters, and that's teaching. If you found this video interesting, then I invite you to watch some of my other videos, read my blogs over on my website at griffineducationenterprises.com, and to check out some of my resources on Teachers Pay Teachers. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. These actions help support the channel more than you know. I'm Matthew. Thanks for watching. Ciao.